right, now can we go to Evesham? Nope. What? I don't feel like any of this will connect to anything else. Nope. Maybe, okay, maybe we need to ask the conductor about where uh, Mr. Robinson is. Have you also examined the postal bags inside the mailroom? There didn't seem to be anything there at the time. According to the train composition mm, report, okay. there was a special wagon. I believe I've just sealed sure? everything. That's a highly secure car. Mail gets Ordered delivered awfully fast party, in the in the Rolling Hill County. To carry something of value. Those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, the term wagon being and applied to train cars to sounds the strange to, to me. Is that like a British English thing? Was there anything uh. exceptional about any Most of the passengers definitely. aboard the train? For sure. Because, yeah, I've mean? never heard of like that either. Officials, I wouldn't know. Oh, oh, but now that you mention I, it, yes, there was. Something. I do know there was a some things about station, trains because I've robbed a lot of them in role playing games. Because of an issue with the passengers, but what kind of problem that they didn't say? That is interesting. Enough to you answer the question, or station. no? I, like uh, station. I have no knowledge of wagons being a thing map. on trains. Of course, it's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. Now we get a location opening See you up. later, my good man. All right, let's check the... Okay, I got it. Ah, go. A wagon That's train fast. is a group of wagons traveling together. Yeah. So <laughs> it's literally it's not a like... a locomotive, though. It's not. I don't think it's that like, has any... It's not even a train we're looking for. We're looking for literal wagons. We're looking for a bunch of pioneers on wagons who just happen to be traveling in this direction. Hardy oxen tugging their lives uh, on little covered tracks as they walk beside their double-barreled shotguns slung on their arms. Their jaws lifted up in pride and hope. Unfortunately, they got lost around the Doncaster Pass and had to eat each other within the dome. What you doing, Watson? One of the one of the fifty Doncaster activities now available: cannibalism. <laughs> <laughs> also featured on the top five places to dine in Doncaster. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with God, we're hoping we don't have any fans in Doncaster, or really hoping we have fans in Doncaster. <laughs> So, wagon is British slang for a train car, but it's also okay. Irish slang for an obnoxious, aggressive woman. Hmm. Our new boss is a right wagon. That's what they say in Ireland. They should. Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? No, they shouldn't, concern. but, you know, at least concern? the Urban Dictionary article is. length is pretty Last short. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing I appreciate that, that he said, I were on the train, train, but the subtitle he refused. The train, and he was extremely <laughs> rude about it. I'm curious if that was, like, you a transcription error, or, or if the voice night. actor's just like, yes. Fuck yeah, that, I don't know what I'm about. Is. But I don't care. I, we I know that sounds nothing like anyway, him. Our tickets were valid, and no doubt about it. And yeah, this guy is, it does all, not sound Scottish. Else <laughs> well, that didn't sound Scottish either, so. Rich. Well, of course, their type don't need a ticket. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Can you paint me a portrait well, yes. of the rich they people? They were all foreigners. I have Spanish here my painting kit. Snake eyes. 
Goodbye, sir. Uh, do we for any uh, Spanish viewers we have? Uh, do do Spanish people generally have the eyes of snakes? Or is he just making a specific claim about these rich people? Rich people do have the eyes of snakes sometimes. It's a misconception. Spanish people actually have both snake eyes and human eyes. Ah, oh, but they switch which one, uh, depending yeah. on whether they're signaling their membership to the Good Reptilian day, Alliance. Good die. It's a Who modal am I thing. Speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flies, <laughs> please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat. <laughs> Shamrock Flies. This guy sounds significantly more British than his hat leads me to believe. He's Australian, Josh. His jawline doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Australian like, hat. Whoa, whoa, Josh, Josh, what are you doing? Going a little <laughs> low there to the fancy like, shoes. This is leading over and <laughs> pressing his nose against the guy's crocodile shoes. You must be Mr. I'm sorry Williams, for the delay. Is that correct? Would it help if I were to place some shrimps upon the, the barbie? Of the disappearing train. <laughs> it would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to Is there no local law enforcement involved here at all? It's just, oh, Sherlock Holmes, he's, he'll take care of it. Let's all go get lunch. I, I'm not an expert also, but I, I sort of suspect this is not actually an Australian voice actor for this guy. Yeah, no, it doesn't, like, a little bit, but... Yeah. I mean, I guess I don't actually know what a Victorian-Australian accent sounded like. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention, but I was very optimistic. I mean, I've, I've heard Australian people kind of talk like this. I don't know. Something about it just, like, sounds a little bit more English than Australian. Like, it has kind of both qualities at once. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? Were the you on the train? Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost. So you just ask Along everybody, the were you on the train? Prototype. So this is basically Murder on the Orient the Express, where company. except instead of like the shady American company. getting murdered, it's the Orient Express. And they seemed wealthy <laughs> enough to do business with. We have no evidence that the train was murdered, Rutskarn. Hmm. <laughs> All the passengers conspired to murder yours. the train. Was it very valuable? For God's sake. Train was stabbed in the back. It is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. You mean like a I cannibal? I don't know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. If humans make trains and then humans eat trains, is that cannibalism? <laughs> what the Mr. What Robinson, the fuck are our lives? <laughs> what is Were our you jobs? Alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received the telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bronson... That guy looks like he's 17. <laughs> I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So, yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. Unfortunately, I can't find the voice actor for Mr. Robinson. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train well left the darn. station without me. Absolutely unacceptable. What uh, the fuck was that, that camera the work there? <laughs> it was pretty the funny, actually. Require the train to be on time. You I'm doing shot idiot. reverse shot, and then suddenly the camera the pivots very quickly, zooms it's in. It's like the, the force of Mr. The Robinson's the voice just the knocks the lens. For the directors of the oh, that guy just vanished. Company. Okay, cool. So, uh... Creepy Watson's powers have jumped to this train conductor, I guess. So it seems that the people on the car were not, in fact, Spanish. They were Chilean. That's kind of a big distinction, actually. I mean, I think, I think, like, it's still a thing where, like, an English person would say they were Spanish in the sense that, like, 
they belong yeah. to a Spanish-speaking country. That's like a thing that people do. It's really old-fashioned. Like, I don't think anybody likes that anymore. Or really possible Or probably anybody really liked it previously. Oh, there you are. Good day to you, gentlemen. Like, I had a boss, uh, who you, was, like, 80-plus, and he would I'm call uh, any of our Mexican, like, contractors Spanish, and the only person he ever called I'm Mexican was, like, Bertrand, a white Cajun guy. My supervisors not inform me about this. I do not know if... Do not worry. I that is a bit questions. bizarre. <laughs> it, it was a bit bizarre, yes. Oh, well, at least young age is something that the game points out as important. You're even better than Sherlock Holmes. Instructions. Do this your parents know you're out here mastering a station? Impersonating a station master, master? Like... Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that he <laughs> reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, yes, everyone they was threw me into a locker. My station. I've no idea why, <laughs> and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious Some big guy that's bald and has this weird tattoo on the back of his head just choked me out and threw me in a locker. I woke up next to there three dead people who were also naked. Rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a I must say, Watson, must... I'm at the, yes, my yes, wit's end. I, I believe I uh, understand the motive for the murder, but why he ran around in a mascot costume for three laps <laughs> remains a mystery to me. Unusual last night. I did, and I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the Has Sherlock Holmes ever been to it? Miami? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say. How long have you been working here? I've worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. It ought to be really hilarious if there was a game like Skyrim, where, like, they programmed in a detective that would follow you after you killed somebody or committed a crime, who would, like, look at That'd all the neat. dumb shit you did and have some kind of comments on it. <laughs> I feel like Bethesda would 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 do that, but it'd be like a half step thing, and it wouldn't like be any good. All his observations like stole... would be really banal. He stole. The, he robbed the cash box, Let but he also frankly, stole Mr. every Bertrand. single your bottle of cheap wine on the shelf. Why? Their value is apparent. next to nothing. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed. Surely they would have burdened him in his escape. In Skyrim. You collect Listen cheese wheels. Here, I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent Oh man, he is busting out the listen here, young man. You are obstructing the investigation of an important <laughs> case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. Ah, that is... Well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. And then, oh. later on, I received a most peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station. The next I think he's going to get demoted to station partner. <laughs> what did the telegram Station say? associate. <laughs> well, that was the peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and awfully vague. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. Hmm. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that looks like someone who doesn't know Morse code very well. <laughs> more like more or less code. <laughs> oh, interesting. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. A significant sum. Autonomous electricity generator. A Manco product. 
That guy does look a bit like Saxton Hale. Don't touch anything, please. Yeah. Like Saxton an older not Saxton Hale. Hale that's really let himself go. It's Saxton not entirely Hale. So this guy had ink smudges on his hand. More like Slaxton Hale. Eh. Kind of losing the plot of what we were doing because we were joking so much. So let me go back through here. Okay. And All right. Make sure I got everything. Um. Honestly, I would probably prefer to work for Slaxton Hale. Saxton Hale's, like, <laughs> too much of a tryhard. Yeah. Okay, I think I got everything. Um, Don't touch anything, please. Don't have anything more to talk to him about. Is this... Okay. Ah uh ho! -huh, our first choice. Seems likely. I don't know if that gives me anything yet, but we'll just mark that for now. See what happens. Uh, see what happens. These all go back here to go together. So. Let's ask this guy about the insurance policy. I'm sure that'll come up. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word. You keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. What is an important grip sack? <laughs> You're about to find out. Oh. I'm not ready for this. Your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage? You're ready to go down under, Josh. Other things to think about. I lost my <laughs> And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I feel like we just successfully right away, solved a Sorry, adventure game puzzle to get someone out of the way so we can do something, but I have no idea what that thing him. we're supposed to do is. Do <laughs> you have anything to it's talk to us about? No. An absolute... I will not move cool. from here until I... Does this mean we can, like... No, he's he's where he was, too. Alright, let's... I believe there's a luggage room adjacent. Yeah, go look at that guy's stuff. Railway post. <laughs> Examine his crypt sack most gently. This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. Why are you saying that like that's unusual? This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. Ah, uh, lockpicking minigame. <laughs> keep watch while I delicately caress the stock of his grip sack. <laughs> Okay. I quite like this lockpicking minigame. It's not too hard, and it's really quite satisfying. Is that not it? Not quite. Okay, there we go. Yeah. 
Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them Let carefully. Let me rub my spontaneously generated monocle all over them. This businessman has contracts. How suspicious. <laughs> is it, Mr. Holmes? Mmm, if I decide it is. sales contract. Mr. I like how this game is like, no, seven. don't actually read the whole damn contract. You'll be here all day. It's pretty elegant, yes. Okay, so basically he's selling the thing, but like he has an ironclad uh, so sales contract, which is like, uh, it doesn't have to work. I get paid either way. Yeah. Fuck you. Well, it's also... These are all exclusive sales contracts. Yet another exclusive. <coughs> but they're contract. they're like Mr. all of Robinson them are for the, the same sale. prototype. Pre and they pay ten percent up front. So, uh, is this actually fake? Is this is the whole prototype just a fucking scam? Well, it's an autonomous unlimited energy machine. So you tell me, Josh. It doesn't, it didn't say it was unlimited. It well, was just it an autonomous electrical generator, Mr. which can exist. Received although. prepayments from various people for his machine. One wonders exactly what one would come up with at this point. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Cool, Watson. You carry on. Okay, here. Uh, prototype has insurance and uh, no, okay. I guess not. Okay, so that's just kind of there for now. Ah, here we go. What do you think? The contracts were prepayment before they even received it and they were signed. So presumably he intended to... I, I feel like it's, it's a motive. He intended to create this boondoggle that doesn't actually work uh schmooze around with a bunch of uh companies to get um prepayments going and then mysteriously lose the prototype and collect uh half the prototype supposed value in insurance money seems likely does this lead us anywhere no Keep that locked. That one for now. Plus, he can insure it against the value of the the sales and the contracts, so that'll increase the value of the the item. Yeah, yeah. He probably got those contracts and then went to the insurance company. And was like, okay, so this, this is you know the contract that I have. He may even be able to refund the customers, at, but it, like the the ten percent was just to take out the insurance contract in the first place. Yeah, I guess that is possible. Maybe we should That's how I do it. About this. I will not move from here until I receive. No one has anything to say about that. Don't touch no? anything, right. please. I assume we can't just wander off into the town. Oh, who are you? Uh not someone I could talk to. Nope. Let me into your house. Okay, <laughs> would you like to buy a generator? <laughs> we might as well get him on this fraud while we're at it. I have some genuine exclusive sales contracts right here for you. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> black out the name of the company and just put your name instead. <laughs> Courtesy of Mr. Shamrock Jones.